how do you take care of your mind? How do you take care of your stoic wisdom or your mindfulness or your well-being? Where is that place, that home, that scented, grounded foundation that helps you stabilize your mind, your life, your reaction to the inevitable ass-kicking that life will impose upon you? That's an important question. Now, today's video is about reminding ourselves of the importance and the necessity of nurturing that foundation, of digging deep, of maintaining that place of centeredness and groundedness. We want to bring our attention to the quality of our practice, the intentions behind it, and to remember that it actually really matters that we have that core component of a stabilized mind. My name is Mike Stroh. This is the Starts With Me channel, where we help you increase your capacity for resilience and well-being. I am reading from The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. Today is July 4th, and the reading is Protect the Flame. Protect your own good in all that you do. And as concerns everything else, take what is given as far as you can make reasoned use of it. If you don't, you'll be unlucky, prone to failure, hindered, and stymied. Epictetus Discourses 4.3.11 The goodness inside you is like a small flame, and you are its keeper. It's your job, today and every day to make sure that it has enough fuel, that it doesn't get obstructed or snuffed out. Every person has their own version of the flame and is responsible for it, just as you are. If they all fail, the world will be much darker. That is something you can't control. But so long as your flame flickers, there will be some light in the world. Sounds a little cliche, as many of these things do. And at the same time, it's true. There's wisdom in that. And I know for myself, when things aren't so great, I'm quite disconnected from that reality that I, or the quality of my own consciousness, my flame, my well-being, the foundation of my stable mind, really does matter. And when I'm in tune with it, I believe that. When I'm not in tune with it, I still believe it, but I'm not connected physiologically speaking, to the importance of it and the value of cultivating it from day to day. Over the years, I have learned, as I mentioned in the intro, that really what matters most is my intention and the quality of my attention when I am practicing. Whether I practice for five minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, whatever the case may be, and that's my meditation practice, I have learned and was taught again, that it is the quality of the practice that matters. Sometimes when I'm disconnected from my practice, I'm not practicing, I'm busy with life and all that other kind of stuff, which will inevitably happen, okay? We do need to protect that flame, as the reading says. Okay, one of my teachers told me, just go touch your bench. This is my, my meditation bench, okay? I sit on a bench. Cushion is not great for me. Okay, so sometimes when we're disconnected from the practice, that's okay. Again, the practice or the idea is just get back to it as promptly as you can, or just recognize that you're not practicing, that you're letting your flame dwindle and reconnect to it in whatever way you can. What are other ways of maintaining that flame for you? Does it happen in a sangha or in a group? Does it happen through your family, your friends, your pets, taking a walk in nature, whatever it is to bring this into practice? Write down some of the things. What are the things that you do to nurture that flame? Write those things down. Maybe reflect on how much you're practicing. Sometimes all that we really need to do is to remind ourselves to get back into practice, get back into nurturing the flame. However insignificant we think our efforts are, they actually really matter. I hope you found that helpful today. Remember, protect that flame. Nurture your mind. Try to stay connected to that foundation of well-being and wisdom and stability of mind. And when you're disconnected, 
how might you reconnect? How might you re engage in the practices that help that flame? <laughs> what, what would you say? Burn bright uh, from moment to moment. If you found that helpful, please like this video, share it, comment on it, subscribe to our channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. I wish you all the best. Take it easy. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.